You know, I like to fancy myself a pretty contemplative guy. At the end of most nights, I like to sit back and think about the day, think about days past, think about decisions made, think about actions taken. And here we are in July, and for some reason, July always stirs up memories of Absolution's past, AIW's premier event. I think about all my involvement, all the matches that I fought, and the one that I keep coming back to is this one, last year's Absolution where I took on Ethan Page and Josh Alexander, two of the most talented men in all of professional wrestling. And after a 10 year climb to the top, I finally was on the mountaintop when I defeated those two guys. And I won that absolute title. And the locker room cleared out. And for about two minutes, I celebrated. On two minutes, I was on top of the world. But then, Mr. Tim Dons came out, my friend, and he jumped me, stomped my head into the mat, talked down about me. And for the next six, seven, eight months, he made my absolute title run a living hell out of jealousy and out of spite. And every opportunity he had to come out and to disrupt my matches or to attack my opponents or to attack me, he took out of jealousy and out of spite. And I get it, it's professional wrestling. There's no honor among thieves. I try not to take things personally. I've been in this game a long time and I've learned don't take it personal. But with Tim, I did. And here's why. I considered him a friend. I did. I thought he was the kind of guy that when life and wrestling ended, that it would still maintain a friendship with. A guy that would reach out to me, a guy that would check in with me, a guy that I thought cared about me. And I keep going back to one moment in particular. A few years back when we got that tragic news that you had cancer, Tim. And I remember you showed up at Mount Carmel shortly after that news came out that you had cancer. And I remember you weeping in the hallway behind Mount Carmel. I remember you crying your eyes out. And because I was a friend, you know what I did? I wrapped my arms around you, and I told you, you're going to beat this. You're going to make it. You're going to beat cancer. And you cried, and you cried, and you said you'd never wrestle again. And you were so concerned that you would never step into a professional wrestling ring again. And I told you not to worry about that. That's secondary. Beat cancer. Beat this. And then we'll go from there. And I was in your corner. I reached out to you. I was your biggest fan. I was rooting for you. I wanted to see you get back in that wrestling ring more than anything. So that's why this is personal, Tim. Because you turned your back on me. A guy that genuinely cares about you. A guy that reached out to you. A guy that cared for you. Most guys in that locker room didn't give a crap whether you lived or died. I did. And that's how you treated me. Tim, I'm a decent guy. I am. But I have a scary ability to turn off all emotion. I have a scary ability to disconnect from people that wronged me. And boy, did you wrong me. And I keep thinking of that time when you and Tracy Williams and I were in a match for my absolute title. A match I didn't even have to give you. But I gave you because I was sick of hearing you whine. And when it looked like I had Tracy Williams defeated, you handcuffed me to a rope. You handcuffed me to the bottom rope. I've never been handcuffed in my life. I've never been arrested in my life. But you treated me like a criminal. And I had to sit there and I had to watch as you beat Tracy Williams after I did all the dirty work. After I beat him, after I pile drove him right into that mat. You took the pin. And I had to watch you celebrate with my belt. So Tim, there's two words that keep spinning around my head. Rematch and revenge. Rematch and revenge. I lost my title. Cheap, but I lost it and I never asked for my rematch. So here I am, right here, right now, as we head towards absolution, asking for my rematch. But that's only secondary. 
because the most important thing right now is revenge. Rematch. Revenge. Rematch. Revenge. Rematch.